And before this video starts, guys, we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime SynapseX keys. Now, SynapseX is one of the best paid executors out there. So if you do want a chance to win, of course, just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our Discord server. Once you do join the Discord server, head over to the verified channel. Once you're into the verified channel, go ahead and click on this button right here, which says click to verify, and that will give you the verified role. Then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here. Now, of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here. But if you do want to increase your chances of winning, then you can boost the server. So if you do have Nitro, you can simply boost the server. And of course, you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well. So good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway. Now, let's get back into the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a script for training simulator. Uh, now, this is an interesting script. There's a bunch of different things that we're going to be going through. Of course, if you don't have an executor, an, an executor is pretty much required to execute the script. So you can grab yourself a free executor from my executor playlist that you can find a link to down in the description below. Um, now, with that being said, let's go ahead and go through the menu. Uh, so when you do execute the script, you will be introduced with the farming option just like this. Um, in the farming option, what you have to do firstly is equip your dumbbell. So if I press one just like this, so just equip your dumbbell uh, and turn on auto training. And you can see my points have started going up already. And we have started the training process. We can turn on auto rebirth and you can see a bunch of different rebirths that players have had, for example, and it will automatically do the rebirth process for you. Uh, you can also turn on auto collect rewards. So if you want the rewards to be collected automatically, maybe there's daily rewards or something like that. Those will also be collected for yourself. There's a bunch of different egg options. So you can toggle egg spawn, you can toggle the Atlantis egg, uh, heaven egg, and there's a bunch of different options right here. So yeah, so you can pretty much toggle all of these on if you wish to. Um, now let's go ahead and go into the teleport options. These are really interesting. There's not many games or many FE games that allow you to teleport to uh, players. Uh, and this is a pr pretty much an instant teleport. So if I do select any player and I click teleport, uh, okay, that's not good. Okay, let's try another player. Maybe that player just died or re they reset it. That didn't work for them. But you can see I can pretty much instantly teleport to this player just like this. You can also type a name here. So for example, if it's not showing in this list right here, or if you want to type a, um, a name manually, you can do that by typing it here. I'm not quite sure why you would prefer doing this over this because it's pretty much all the names here. Uh, so let's try to teleport to someone else. This guy is currently over the ocean. And so is this player. Not sure what they're doing over here. But let's go ahead and teleport back to this player. Here we go. And I think I've glitched my character. So let's go ahead and reset that. And while we wait on that, you also have the teleport to different world options. You've got hub, underworld, uh, glacier, and it goes on and on. And I think I've glitched my character a little too much <laughs> because I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I might have to rejoin the game. Um, but let's go ahead and finish off going through this menu. Okay, there we go. Um, so my character is slowly but surely resetting. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so you can also, of course, teleport it to two different um, realms or different worlds. So this is the hub, which is the original world. You've also got the underworld, uh, the glacier, uh, and of course, candy, VIP, desert, and moon. Um, and yes, yeah, so there's, there's a bunch of different um, a bunch of different worlds you can teleport through when it comes to that. Now, when it comes into the misc options, you also got the field of view that you can change. So you can zoom all the way in, or you can increase your field of view beyond what is normal you can see around here is like the cutoff point and the reason for this is because i don't my character isn't large enough or big enough uh, to actually go beyond this point and this is already way too much of an fov uh, but you can set it to 200 if you want to now for the gravity by default it's just going to be set up to one if you do turn it up and down again now if you keep it on one it will just keep you floating um now let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit more and around 20 is the the point where you would start dropping again so if i leave it on 20 i would jump pretty high but eventually i would go down again so if you wanted to turn it all the way up you can see that you barely get to jump if i turn it all the way down then you will pretty much just start floating away uh, and you would never come back down um, all right so you can also bypass the speed so you can see how fast i'm currently running if i click this once you can see i'm running super fast now 
I can turn this back on or sorry I can turn this back off by simply clicking it again uh never mind speed increase if you want to click okay if you want to go faster click again so if you okay never mind so you can't actually turn this down um but you can reset your character uh, and that will oh that should fix it if not then just rejoin the game and that should put you back onto normal speed but if you do keep clicking this it will go faster and faster and faster you can also change the climate so you can make it morning or uh, nighttime or sorry sunny or night um i'm not quite sure why night is meant to be weather night isn't weather right it's, it's a time of day i'm not quite sure what they meant by that uh, but if we do go into the normal hub uh, this is where you can see the actual uh time of day uh in action so by sunny i think they went morning and then you've of course got night time as well uh, and here are the credits to the actual creator here is his uh discord or his their discord uh username um and yeah that's pretty much the end of the script guys hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching